to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Get this. Deontay Wilder sends a defiant warning to Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. <clears throat> and this is what he said. He said, quote, he said, I want to make Tyson Fury pay so bad, so bad. I don't think that chapter is over with. I could see a fourth in the making created by the creators. The Saudis have the source and the power to make it all happen. I want to get it back so bad and reclaim all the gold. I'm looking forward to working with the Saudis for a long time, even when I regain the titles. I truly believe that I will be the undisputed champion <clears throat> and hold all the belts. Hmm. Those are the words of Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder and let me counterpunch. People, I've said it again and again and again and again. Seeing is believing. A lot of people, when they see something take place, when they see something transpire, uh, it's more believable then at that point than any other time. Okay? Um, we just seen Tyson Fury get defeated. Not by knockout, no. He got defeated off points. He got defeated because the other guy landed more power punches, or more punches overall than he did, okay? And he made more impactful moments in the fight, even though Tyson Fury did fight a good fight. He just didn't beat the guy that won, <laughs> right? And Deontay Wilder, I think, looking at that, even though I think he's too, too proud to respond. And I think this is actually a passive... Um, I think Deontay Wilder is responding to the loss of Tyson Fury now with his message. You know, that's his way of respond, his nonchalant way of responding to Usyk beating Deontay Wilder because he's looking at it like, look, I still think I'm going to get all the belts. I still think I, I'm going to be around a long time. I have a good relationship with the Saudis and I will become champion again. And he wants to make Tyson Fury pay so, so bad. And what do I say to that? I think <clears throat> with Deontay Wilder, I think Wilder, uh, nothing wrong with having that goal because you never know what's going to happen in the sport. That's the reason why this is the sport that I love, that I hate so much because you think it's going to go this way and it ends up going that way. You know, when you're dealing with boxing, you don't know, especially heavyweight boxing, heavyweight boxing, anywhere from 168, up. You don't know what could happen, but heavyweight boxing, it mo mostly takes one punch based on the size and the power that these big guys possess. Okay. The, the bigger a guy is more than likely the harder they punch in most cases. Okay. And with Deontay Wilder, he knows he has a punch. So he knows in his mindset, Hey, I'm one punch away from winning every fight. But if I can win every fight, I could win the fight that'll put me where I want to be. You know, the punch that landed to knock out Tyson Fury, the punch that landed to get the, the titles back, to become world champion again. The all you need is that right hand. That's what makes Deontay Wilder so dangerous. And if he is back to his old self, that's how he was thinking. Unfortunately, that thought can be flawed because you can end up getting knocked out yourself if you're not willing to do that. If you think and you lay and lie all of your faith on your power, and really don't work on the other mechanics to get to that to get that power to the fighter or get that punch landed you're in trouble okay and him and him seeing Tyson Fury getting bashed around beat up like that you know I I think it just gave him a a hard on <laughs> I you know what I mean I just think it is I mean why wouldn't it Think about it. You got a guy that's been beat by Tyson Fury practically three times. Got outboxed the first fight, got stopped the second fight, and knocked out the third. Okay, then he goes on a campaign. We whoops Dillian White. Then he fights Derek Chisora. Um, 
Then he fights Francis Ngannou. And now he comes and he loses to Alexander Usyk. You know, and I, I look at that. I can't help but to think that's what Wilder's response is overall to Tyson losing. I see it now. I can do this. You know, in fact, he probably has flashbacks from that first fight when he dropped him and everybody thought it was over and it was up to the ref to give Tyson Fury the opportunity to count him properly and he got up. I don't believe in the long count or whatever, but a lot of people do. I think the last fight he was in was a long count and he wasn't even down yet. Make that make sense. There was no standing eight count. The standing eight counts haven't been around for a long time, okay? Now, had it been, that would have been different. But this guy counted to 10 when he didn't even hit the floor. So it just sounds a lot, you know, Mark Nelson, he has a lot of explaining to do. I know a lot of people are going to be tapping him, DMing him and stuff for interviews and asking him, why in the hell did you stop the fight like you did? Nonetheless, back to Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has more reason to be motivated than any because he's seen a smaller guy do it a shorter guy, a smaller guy, you know, uh, hurt fury. So, you know, pr more than likely, this is what Wilder's thinking. I'm still the reason for that. <laughs> I broke that shell. I hit, I hit Tyson Fury so hard that his durability, um, <clears throat> is not there. Okay. His overall, uh, ability to take punches are not there. He didn't win, but he was still able to get those punches in. So that's what it was about. I think Wilder is more pumped now seeing that fight, even though he's too proud to uh, say, really come out and say, this is how I feel about Tyson Fury's loss. And you would think he would be the one to do it, but he's not, right? I think this is the way of him explaining that. Now, speaking of Deontay Wilder, though, like I said at the very beginning of this video, there's nothing wrong with having goals, but understand you have to take one step at a time. You can't live into the future until you live right now and forget about the past altogether, right? Because at this point, he has to focus on who? Zeely Big Bang Zang, which dropped Parker and destroyed Joe Joyce and drop Philip Hergovic, you know, I think that's somebody you need to worry about because this person, like yourself, also has punching power and boxing ability. But you guys tell me what you think of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder nonchalantly uh, in his own way, responding to Tyson Fury getting beat by Alexander Usyk and states that he still wants a piece of the Gypsy King. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!